Welcome to Loomly. In this video, you will learn how to build a successful brand for your nonprofit organization. Social media can be challenging to navigate, even with online resources from Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Moreover, nonprofits require a specific social media approach because of their different organizational goals. You can use social media to help convey your message and educate people. Plus, you can connect with people in need, promote your initiatives and campaigns through social media. You can also leverage social media to inspire more people to donate to achieve your organization's mission. This tutorial breaks down the process of building a tight-knit community of donors and volunteers, increasing your brand awareness, and creating successful campaigns. Define success and know your audience. Clearly define the goals you're trying to achieve on social media. Your end goal might not always be fundraising. You can also use social media for raising awareness, increasing advocacy, promoting events and campaigns. Knowing your goals gives you direction and makes it easier to create a strategy. After setting your goals, define the type of audience you're trying to reach. People demand a certain degree of personalization and an understanding of what they want. Moreover, you'll be able to cater to your audience more effectively if you know whom you're talking to. First things first, to stand out in a crowd, you should identify your brand's tone on social media. Depending on your brand, the tone could be funny, informative, resolute. You can use Loomly to use your brand's tone to inspire a reaction from your audience. You can use emojis as a prompt. You can download an emoji keyboard to use emojis within Loomly. Or ask for specific reactions from your audience, like asking them to like or comment on your post. Based on your tone, you can engage your audience looking for content that matches this tone. You can utilize hashtags within Loomly to connect with people who believe in your cause and thus build a strong community of donors, volunteers, mentors, and advocates. You can create groups where people can stay connected and have discussions. Such engaged communities will help your nonprofit grow beyond just likes and followers. Once you have defined your audience, it's time to define your publishing guidelines. Your organization might have many volunteers and employees handling your social media accounts. But without specific social media guidelines and policies in place, it's difficult to achieve a consistent message. First, you'll need to decide how frequently you are going to publish content. Some brands share multiple updates per day, while others publish a couple of posts every week. In general, more frequent high-quality posts is better to keep your audience engaged, but we highly recommend keeping an eye out for how many high-quality posts you're able to commit to posting regularly. Once you have identified your ideal posting cadence, you can take advantage of Loomly's scheduling slots feature to set your preferred publishing schedule and save time when creating new posts in Post Builder. The last component of your publishing guidelines is establishing an approval workflow for your team. This is the process of reviewing content before it goes live to make sure the right posts get published at the right time, in the right place, by the right person. Setting up an appropriate workflow creates a layer of security and accountability in case a post makes it onto Facebook with a typo or an Instagram story goes unfortunately viral for the wrong reasons. Depending on the size of your team and the level of accountability you need, your review and approval workflow may vary. If you work on your own, a simple checklist for yourself reminding you to check your posts for potential typos, broken links, and incorrect visuals will keep you on track. If you need approval from one collaborator, share a similar checklist with the person in charge of approving posts with clear approval deadlines, making sure to include some buffer to allow for some back and forth. If you need approval from multiple collaborators, go with a more comprehensive team-wide sign-off process to collect approval from your legal, marketing, and editorial departments before posting. This is why Loomly offers specific workflow options. The original workflow is ideal for larger teams when multiple people need to review and approve a post. The light workflow is best suited for smaller teams when one person needs to approve a post. The zero workflow is ideal if a single person is in charge of the entire publishing process. These best practices will help you maintain your brand identity and consistency across different platforms, 
Remember to include a style guide for visuals and written content, as well as a PR crisis plan. Once you have defined your publishing guidelines, it's time to set up a content calendar. A social media calendar will help you stay consistent with your posts without getting overwhelmed at the last minute. It's even more critical for your nonprofit organization as you can plan for social media holidays. Identify the social media holidays that you can associate with your cause and plan for those. For example, if you want to raise awareness around sustainability and the environment, you can celebrate holidays like hashtag Earth Day to reach a wider audience. Such well-crafted posts can boost organic reach and increase donations. First things first, let's start with what you know best, your organization. Simply list events that matter to your organization and your community, such as special events, organization milestones such as anniversaries, achievements and awards, and major holidays and events. This is where the Loomly magic happens as we suggest you different types of post ideas. Twitter trends, trending topics from Twitter in your location. RSS feeds, RSS items from your own custom selection of content feeds. Loomly inspiration, recurring broad ideas based on best practices and internet codes. Loomly ideas, events, holidays, and celebrations happening on specific dates. You can view every social media holiday of a month at a glance on Loomly. Hence, you can save time updating holidays manually, or worse, missing out on them completely. Once you have a clear editorial plan, it's time to turn your ideas into posts. In Loomly, Post Builder was designed as a wizard, assisting you along the entire post creation process. Essentially, a social media post is made of three elements, a publishing date and time, some text, and one or more media assets. When you publish the same post to multiple platforms, you want to optimize it for each one, conforming to their respective technical limitations, community best practices, and audience expectations. For instance, if you publish the same post to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, you may want to have a base version of your post for Facebook, a shorter version for Twitter, sprinkle in hashtags for Instagram, and make it a bit more formal on LinkedIn. This is why when you create a post in Loomly, you can define some generic content that will be applied by default to all channels and then customize that generic content for each platform. At this stage, you may be tempted to take your freshly created post and simply put them online. But what if there was a better way to proceed, allowing you to boost both the quality of your posts and the efficiency of the process to publish them? There actually is a way. Reviewing, approving, and scheduling your post is one of the most underrated yet crucial steps of the publishing process. As a rule of thumb, you want to proofread your post for consistency with brand values, message, compliance with brand guidelines, format, alignment with brand strategy, goals, any potential contextual risk, trending news, residual typos, credibility, Ideally, you want to implement an approval system allowing you to keep track of team feedback, save post changes, and make collaborators accountable for their actions, you know, in case something goes wrong. This is why Loomly automatically generates post mockups for you and your team, so that everyone can review and approve content through your chosen workflow before going live. No pain, all gain. Once everyone is on board, you can peacefully hit publish and push your carefully crafted post in front of your audience's eyeballs. Loomly's built-in scheduler will take care of it for you automatically. Once you have published your posts, it's time to interact with your audience. Using Loomly's interactions feature will help you stay up to date on all interactions with your community. You can use interactions to reply to Facebook comments, like or hide comments, and continue an ongoing conversation with your audience. If your goal is to respond to every comment and make your audience feel heard, you can stay up to date on your audience's responses to your posts with our interaction feature. Loomly shows unread comments highlighted in gray, so you always know which interactions need a response. Never miss a comment or message, and make sure your response rate is excellent by maintaining contact with your community. Reply to direct messages on Twitter, retweet tweets that you are mentioned in, and stay on top of taggings. 
Once you have interacted with your audience, it's time to measure your success. To get a better idea of what your community wants in your posts, you can use Loomly's analytics to review your post performance and understand what your audience likes the most, as well as identify what went wrong in every post, helping you better connect with your audience. Impressions and reach are solid indicators of brand visibility, showing you respectively how many times and by how many people a post has been seen. Likes, reactions, comments, clicks, and shares are absolute measures of engagement, which tell you how and how many times users have interacted with a piece of content. Engagement rate is the king of metrics, defined as the ratio of engagements, reach, or sometimes as engagements impressions, providing you with a strong foundation to normalize and compare post performances accurately. Knowing this information will help you make informed decisions on future posts like where and when to post, what to post about, and who to post for in the future. By listening to the data, you'll be able to know what your audience wants and tailor your post to suit them moving forward. Wrapping up, social media for nonprofits in a nutshell. Although social media for nonprofits can appear challenging, organizations have to embrace the channel if they want to succeed. By using the right social media tools and strategies, nonprofits can overcome their limited resources, teams, budget, and knowledge to build an enthusiastic community of inspired people. Social media can help your nonprofit fulfill its mission and reach people at scale. Follow these best practices to boost your nonprofit organization on social media. Define success and know your audience. Create value-driven and impactful content. Set up guidelines and policies. Prepare a content calendar. Interact with your audience. Once you've set up your initial social media calendar and publishing schedule, you'll find that each post will have a simple life cycle, from inspiration and first mock-ups to creation and approval, and finally, publishing and evaluation. Loomly assists you with the entire content publishing process with all the features you need to build a successful brand. Over to you. And that's it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact our team, either through our chat or over email at contact at Thanks for watching this video.